Welcome back to Brother Man Gaming, and we are back with some Mario 64. And let's just take a, a minute to take in this castle music. I think it's one of the most iconic uh, songs in gaming, like main little town themes, whatever you want to call it in gaming. They could have used just like. They could have used this theme as like another world theme, but they're just like, no, nah, we're gonna use this memory to just loop. And it's amazing. It's just burned in my head. I love it, man. I feel like they should reuse this, even though it's so associated with Mario 64, they should use this like up the tempo and use it as like a Mario Kart map. Um, I don't think there's anything up here, but I'm just gonna, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're Mario, or we're Super Mario 64 now. Um, I was just gonna say, I don't think there's anything up here because the other secret star was oh, okay. There's a light. The other secret star was in the other black hole. Um, but we're gonna check out more of the castle while this amazing music loops. Uh, so yeah, now we can. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna do this now, just because I've been putting it off, and I should probably do it before I go to the basement. So once you have 10 stars, I think, you can do this. Welcome to the wing cap course. Stop on the red switch at the top of the tower in the center of the rainbow ring. When you trigger the switch, all of the red blocks you will find become solid. Try out the wing cap. Do triple jump and take off and press Z to land. Pull back on the control stick to go and push forward to nose down. <laughs> jump as you would when flying an airplane. Uh, they don't even know what's going on here. Um, so this is very obnoxious. I believe we already unlocked the wing cap just by doing that. Um, yeah, you've stepped on the wing cap switch. Wearing the wing cap, you can soar through the sky. Oh god, what's going on with the camera? Now wing caps will pop out of all the red blocks you find. Yeah, we'll save right here. But there's a castle star that is very obnoxious here. Because you have to get eight red coins using these god-awful flying controls. Just like an airplane, Mario, didn't you hear? Ugh. Yeah, if you thought Banjo-Kazooie's were bad, these are awful. Look at him! Oh, these... Honest to God, these might be the worst flying controls in a video game. Honest to God. Uh, I can't. <laughs> Find some red coins, Mario. Jesus Christ. I knew this mission was hard, but I didn't know he wouldn't fly at all. Yeah, we might have to come back for this one, because fuck me, man. Okay, he's getting speed ups and shit. I don't I don't remember him getting speed ups. Okay, fuck this. <laughs> we got the wing cap though. But we're gonna that's another star that we have to get, but we are uh <laughs> I just got distracted by my computer's notifications talking about the stock market. <laughs> we're in the basement now. That's what Bowser's key led us to do. And, uh, there's a ghost here. What? Let's hunt the ghost! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Uh, when I was a kid, this was another area that I would just hang out all the time. Just hang out in the courtyard, run around, you know? I love... I mean, when the N64 was the current system, this was a great place! This was like a GTA-esque, um, area. You know what I'm saying? Like, GTA-esque graphics. What is... What do these signs say? Psst. The boos are super shy. If you look them in the eye, they will fade away. But if you turn your back, they will reappear. It's no use trying to hit them when they're fading away. Instead, sneak up behind them and punch! Okay. Um, yeah, so... Also, I couldn't beat this because I couldn't figure out that you had to sneak up on the boos. Like, I just run up to them and they disappear. Um, and also, this is the site of a crazy... One of the earliest internet legends, like... Oh, you can play as Luigi! You can play as Luigi! If you, uh, look at this thing, it says the L is real. You know, we're not lying to you. 
uh, zoom in real close and you can say it, it says on there the L is real. Uh, God, the, what a fucking internet hoax that was. I forget what they said you had to do. Anyway, there's only one of those boos that leads you to a level. It's the one that uh, has the cage or whatever. So we're on course five. Shout out to my buddy in Georgia. This is his favorite level. And uh, when I was a kid, this was my least favorite level because I did not like scary levels. And admittedly, this is not a scary level, but it's scary themed, especially for a Mario game. Come on in. <laughs> so the first thing you have to do, not too hard, it's actually pretty easy, is you just have to um, pound all the booze, kind of like what you just did. I don't know how many there are, but just go from room to room and you'll and you'll uh, you'll find them out. Also, fuck this thing. Is it? Yep, 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 yep. Fuck you. I shouldn't have even triggered that. That is another reason why I hated this fucking level as a kid. Ugh. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I thought I heard a boo. I guess they're just making the boo noises. God, we're losing life fast. We should probably collect some coins. Okay, here we go. Oh, and they give you a bunch of coins. Ghosts don't die. We multiply. Hey, hey, hey. Can you get out of here alive? And this thing is so odd because it's like an eyeball and you just... Okay, where is it? Where are you? You just got to get them to track you and then... <laughs> it's pretty weird. Also, this is another level that's fairly simple to get all 100 coins because each uh each guy you take care of gives you five coins so it's not too difficult this part though is kind of obnoxious because the camera <laughs> camera is kind of annoying holy shit that bridge spawned back fast ghosts don't die we multiply hell yeah yeah they all just say the same thing uh, this part, I believe, is also an obnoxious camera. Yeah. Yeah, some of those parts in this level are really annoying. And they can fucking camp you, too, these fuckers. Fuck you! The booze also in here look kind of weird. I mean, it's N64. I, the first game that was, like, 3D Mario, so... Uh, you can kind of excuse them. They weren't on uh, Mario Kart, so... Well, they were! Uh, they were in the Booze Haunted... Or Booze Boardwalk, whatever that level was. So, I don't know. They just... Uh, some of the enemies to me look uh, weird compared to how they've adapted them over time. Like the Booze, the Koopa Troopas. Um, what else? But in, I was going to say, in Mario Tennis, fucking Boo is the most goddamn OP character in that game. Boo made me hate that game because he can just, like, go from side to side giving power shots and you have no chance. Fuck that game. Oh, my God, man. I love the Mario sports games, but... Woo, Mario Tennis. And the fucking computers, that they have the most insane fucking difficulty sp spike. Not even difficulty spike. You can be playing on easy and the computers will kick your ass in that game. Okay, we got them all. Big boo! <laughs> I think he's in the main room. But look, we only killed like uh, five. We only took care of like the main guys we needed to. And we have 32 coins. Like we've been here, what, three minutes? Really not that hard. Boom, boom. I think this, uh, I love this boss, if I'm remembering right. Whoa, 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 you're fading in and out too fast, buddy. Yeah, he's got the womp sound effect. <laughs> like, the, uh, they have boo sound effects in this game, I don't get it. <laughs> Alright, easy enough, easy enough. Oh, such a great sound. Oh my god, this game, I love this game, I think, too much. There's not a chance, like, now that I'm playing it, there's not a chance Banjo-Kazooie's better. Here we go! Here we go! Alright, let me get some water really quick. Uh, oh! Alright, 
Um, try to, I think the next level, or uh, the next mission on this is like pretty much exactly the same. Ride Big Boo's merry-go-round. Um, phrasing. But, um, yeah. This one, you just go into this giant building. Holy shit. I'm just gonna... Look how big that is, and the door's tiny. <laughs> I have never noticed the perspective on that. That's funny. Anyway, you go in here. Easy enough. Go down here. I also these like grid like things are so weird. I noticed they're in this and Super Mar or uh, Super Smash Bros. And maybe F Zero as well. But it's like definitely an N64 thing. They definitely didn't keep that into GameCube. I don't know if that was a memory issue or whatever. But it's um it's odd. But it definitely doesn't take you out of the game at all because the games are amazing and they were made in like '95. It's also kind of a thing, like, our games now have the yellow paint everywhere telling you where to go. Maybe those were just the objects they had at the time, like, that went down, you know? I don't know. Maybe it was just part of the engine. Although there's none of that in Zelda, I don't think. But Zelda and Mario definitely used fucking different engines. Yeah, and look how many coins we got in like 10 seconds right there. So you can just like do all these guys and go back up, get the other ghosts, get a quick 50. <laughs> that like lined up perfectly with the music. No, no, no. Oh, don't despawn on me. All right, there we go. All right, we got 16. I forget how much you need for the second Bowser fight. I forget if it's 15 or 30. I want to say it's like 15 because 30 seems very high for just the casual player. Um, but this episode, I'm just going to keep going through the levels. Um, come on now. I'm just going to keep going through the levels and then uh, next one, I think I'm going to take on the second Bowser. Uh, this one, I think, is a little obnoxious. But... I think I remember where it is. I think it's up top here. And yeah, this is another uh, thing. You have to defeat the... Uh, what, we, what would you call them? Boo bosses? <laughs> Before you can do this. Uh, the books. Uh, I don't think it's this way. It's not this way. Also, I used the all the time when it came out. It was one of probably 10 DS games I owned. Super Mario 64 DS was awesome. But, and it was definitely the one I played the most on uh, DS. But um, the fucking controls on it were way wonky. But I mean, I still persevered. But I feel like all in all, like all DS games controls were, oh my God, come on. Top one first? Is it top one? For, yeah, okay, then left. Damn it. Alright, top then right. It's gotta be. Top. Right. Le no, left. I'm hitting it. Alright, where does. Uh, there we go, baby. Alright, um. But yeah, I feel like all DS game controls were a little wonky if you had big hands. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I never really played Zelda on DS, so that was probably the best made game, but I remember I played fucking Guitar Hero all the time on DS. And that game, man, oof, that game was not <laughs> really made for DS, let's just say that. Alright, what else can we get? We're burning through this booze haunted mansion. Come on! Alright. Yeah, they say just sneak up behind them, but you can just fucking mash it. Uh, yeah, we're not doing the red coin, so let's let's just uh, finish Boo there. Uh, I think there's a couple more we can do in here. Yeah, there's four or five. Not four or five. I think there's three more, including that. Oh, we didn't even need the basement key to do that. Okay. This is definitely where I'd cap out as a kid. 
Alright, now there's the, the one fucker in particular. Fuck you! Oh god. This is gonna be the rest of the video, ain't it? Oh, we almost got him. So, this guy is just randomly hopping around. A bunny. I don't think he's appeared in any other Mario game. Let's hold on. Let's be smart about this, you know? You don't just go swatting all the time at a fly. God, where is he? No, 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 no! Shit. You don't go... Fuck you! Oh! No. Oh, that should have gotten him. I landed on his fucking head. So as you can see, some of the things here can take a bit of practice. Oh, that's the one you want. You want that fucking front dive. All right, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, buddy? Oh, he juked me the fuck out. All right, we're going one more route here. Uh. All right, Bunny wins round one. And we're going into Bowserland because for whatever reason, you'd think Bowserland would be super hard, but it is very easy. Lethal Lava Land. Don't be a pushover. If anyone tries to shove you around, push back. It's one-on-one -on -one with fiery finish for the loser. Is this like a sumo wrestling theme? <laughs> I never uh, never read that line before. Another great song. I love this one. But these guys can be kind of fucking annoying. Oh, shit. Also, that can be annoying if that happens. But just jump. Just mash the A button. Mash it like your life depends on it. Because it kind of does. <laughs> This mission also sucks ass at getting the 100 coins. It is terror. Like, you have to get damn near all the coins. Because this mission is, or this level is very small, oddly enough, for being like a little bit midway or late through the game. But there's not that many coins on it, so you have to get like fucking all of them. Ooh, especially if you fall in the fucking lava. I don't know if that actually takes away your coins. And also, the key about this level, as you're seeing, is being patient. Okay, let's go. We got a one-on-two handicap match here. Mario versus the bullies. The reigning tag team champs, the bullies. Oh, one-on-three! You were just waiting for your moment. You watched your buddies just go into the lava in this inferno match. Oh boy! It's the mother load. It's Vader. It's Vader time! Alright, well that was simple enough. That can get away from you if you're not a uh, it's all about timing. You gotta jump, push, jump, push, jump, push. Like, don't even bother punching them. And that wasn't even the right one. Bully the bullies. Bully the bullies. What was the other one? Boil the big bully? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, now let's try to get the big bully. Blam, blam, blam. What fucking instrument is this being played on? How come the fire doesn't hurt you? Holy shit! He fucking kamikaze it. This is like a sitar, I think. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Let's go over here. These like bridges are just spawning in. Like I can barely fucking see them. Ooh. All right, Mario, go for it! Oh. All right, all right, all right. 
That was fine. No, that is not fine. Hey! Oh, that was a terrible jump, Mario. What the fuck? You know people are watching you, right? All right, there we go. All right, you're the big bully, yeah? You're the champ? Well, I think Mario deserves better. I think Mario's the champ, you know? Hardcore. European. Oh boy, I have died here before. I remember those stairs do not spawn back. Of all things, those stairs do not spawn back, I believe. Alright, we're doing well on the bullies. A bully cannot contain Mario, you know what I'm saying? Because Mario's the ultimate bully. Uh, oh, this is the easiest fucking star in the game. I'm telling you what, right now. What? You know what? Let's fly there. Fuck it. Let's demonstrate the shitty flying ability. Bomb, 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 bomb. Come on, fly, bitch! Eight red coins. Usually I say fuck it, but this one is too fucking easy. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like they put in all the eight red coins in all the other ones, and then they were like, fuck, we didn't put in an eight red coin in Bowser. All right, just fucking throw it in there. Just put eight red coins in the same eight fucking spots. <laughs> it is beyond easy. Like, I feel like maybe also they wanted you to, like, try and do a slide puzzle with Bowser, but they couldn't figure out the technology. And I don't know. It's just... It's not pointless, because at this point, it's fucking funny how easy it is. And we go from that to a kind of obnoxious one. <laughs> but I think there is a way to kind of cheat it. I don't really remember. Dude, you are getting a lot of heat here for pushing me. Bro, fuck off! Oh my god. Gotta go over here, here. Hooey! All right. More bullies. This is Bully Island. This is like high school. Uh, yeah, I remember the camera sucks ass, and you gotta dodge those. Holy shit! That's why I don't like it. Mario, land on the thing. Bowser's laughing at you. All right, let's try that one one more time, because I remember the camera being a piece of dog shit. Oh! That was lucky. <laughs> it's like he's about to sing the beginning of Kung Fu fighting. No! God damn it, that was on me. That was all me. Go! No, 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 no. Well, now I need health. Shit. Shit on me. Alright, uh. Oh, fucking Christ, man. Land. Ah, uh, alright. Well, let's start up uh, this other level. What does Toad say over here? Because there's been a lot of goddamn Toads down here. Oh, no. The uh, Toad's over there. Let's see what he's saying. Is he saying you're a piece of shit for not being able to catch the rabbit? Catch the rabbit! Catch the rabbit! If I could memorize this damn rap. Oh! That should have caught him! Wow, you already recovered that many stars? Way to go, Mario! I'll bet you'll have us out of here in no time. Be careful, though. Bowser and his band wrote the book on bad. I'm bad! Take my advice. When you need to recover from injuries, collect coins. Yellow coins refill one piece of the power meter. Red coins refill two. And blue coins refill five. To make blue coins appear, pound on blue coin blocks. Also, if you fall from high places, you'll minimize damage if you pound the ground as you land. That wasn't very helpful. I didn't know about the ground pound thing, so I guess that was okay. This damn rabbit. I hate you. 
Alright, um, now I do remember, I don't know if we've gotten one yet, but there's a, uh, there's a little bit of a reprieve in here. A little reprieve Toad. Come on, Toad. <laughs> Hold on to your hat! If you lose it, you'll be injured easily. If you do lose your cap, you'll find it in the course where you lost it. Oh boy, it's not looking good for Peach. She's still trapped somewhere inside the walls. Please, Mario. You, I thought he said, do you need to help her? Do you know that there are enemies inside the walls? Yep, it's true. Bowser's troops are here too. Oh, here, I take this. I've been keeping it for you. So Toad gives you a free star here. I think that's the first of three. I think, whoa, and we're on the rails. Mario really liked that. I think he gives us three free power stars. And we're in the oil. Mario should be drowning. Hazy Maze Cave. I really... Uh, this is another unique level. But, um... And I like the song here. It really matches it. Feels like a Zelda dungeon, honestly. But I'm just not good at this level. Like, especially when I was a kid, I would just be like, Nope, I'm out of here. Um, especially because some of the triggers in this, there's this cool Indiana Jones section too. I don't know. I kind of like it the more I, the more I've played it, but, um, I was just not good at it. It's not like one of my best levels. I'll say that. I forget what, uh, I mean, I, I won't say anything until we come up on it. Okay, this platform's moving and it doesn't have the grids on it. Well, I guess there was the grids attached. Theory is still intact that the grids have something to do with moving objects. So this thing was also fucking weird. Like, oh my god, this looks like a fucking monster. But I think he's your friend? He's your friend that you have to hurt. It's kind of sad. You have to fucking like ground pound his head. Yeah, and he like wails. I, I don't like that. Okay, that was simple enough. But uh, okay, I think that's the only time we have to hurt our little friend there. I think his name's Dory? I don't remember. But it, that's a lot of fucking uh, memory usage for fucking... Like, one-time, two-time character, you see? It's great, though. Kind of established that each, um... Each... Not each world, but some worlds have, like, unique monsters in them, or unique, uh, AI NPCs. Ooh! Oh, uh, we are not doing that! I was gonna say, there's a reason why I did not like that level. We are not doing red coins right away. <laughs> Let's, um, let's see what else we can do down here. <laughs> I did not think red coins were, let's catch the rabbit. No, uh, I did not think red coins were that soon. We're definitely going to have to do some red coins here. Uh, what? This might be a trap or something. Yeah, that's for something else. That's for later on in the game. So, uh, I think there's one other world we can access down here. We've just been kind of getting a star at a time. Which, I mean, we've still been doing pretty solid. I feel like we've been doing like 8-7 an episode. How many do we need here? Let's see. We're going to see if it's 30 or... Yeah, 30. Okay. So, we got to go back. Uh, we're going to go back to world 1 here. Yeah, 15, actually, now that I'm saying it. Seems very small. Because <laughs> you'd only need seven. Uh, you'd only need, like, a star per fucking world. Less than a star per world. Alright, let me... We got the cap, so let's quickly do the cap uh, one here. Uh, maybe we'll do the eight red coins here next time, but... Back on Bomb on Battlefield... Honestly, the most nostalgic. It's got... For my money, it's got the best music. Just because... You know you're getting into something with Bomb Bomb. Yahoo! Yahoo! 
I probably should have shot myself up. Go, Mario, go! Honestly, we'd probably do the red coin mission on this one. Not too far after. Because it is not too bad. Oh, God. Alright. See, this, all these mute songs just get stuck in your head. Come on now. Eh? We need the cap. This mission could take us a little bit because any mission with flying controls can take you a sec. I mean, we're not going to die here. It's just going to take a second. But any mission where you don't have the risk of dying, that's always good. Three, four. Oh, okay. We just need one more. Although I think you can do this actually without doing, without uh, flying. It is just fucking far more tedious. Because then you get shot to the bottom, have to come back up here. Whereas instead of having the uh, rebound of the fly cap. See, and also we can't see the draw distance and can't see the one we're missing, which is another bad part on here. But it is the one at the end. Okay. Get that flight cap. Uh, so let's see where we want to aim here, if it's lower or higher. Let's aim right below that coin. Oh, okay, so we want to aim lower than that. Even lower than that. 22, 22, I'm feeling good, baby. Let's try aiming there. Oh my god, Mario. Oh, come on, just get it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 land on the platform, land. Board the platform. Jesus. I'm lost and I'm sick. I'm sick and I'm lost. Where the fuck? Oh, God. Yeah, they, uh, you are full, seeing it in full effect right now, the flight controls. Oh, come on, Mario. Like, is anyone good at the flight controls in this? Oh, we ain't giving up. We got four of them, baby. Oh. I, I like I feel like I'm making the same mistake every time. Mario. I love you, man, but, oh, I don't love what's going on here. Oh, and now we can't, like, because it's just the one coin, it is fucking impossible to see. We're just jumping in, man. Ugh. Maybe if I go super low and then shoot the fuck up. I don't know how much more I got in this in me. Like, I feel... Oh my god, Mario. Alright, well, that was that. 
I feel like I gave that fucking six minutes. Six minutes. Run with your wing cap in shame, Mario. Do I have to exit the course? Dude, take off your wing cap! Alright, well... Oh, I'm so tired from failing. All right, well, next time on Bread of Man Gaming, we will continue pounding those stars and getting uh, ready for Bowser 2. We're not going to do any fucking flying stars, I'll tell you that. But thanks for watching, and I hope you have yourselves a wonderful day.